Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, as you can see, we have a knife on the table. This is the Buck 390. Actually, it's the Buck 390 BK, which just stands for black, um, because it does come in black and it comes in uh, camo. But uh, Buck 390, if you're interested. Uh, now, I do not usually do knife reviews or anything like that, but I've kind of been on a knife kick for the last couple months, and um, this is one of the ones I picked up that I've been particularly happy with, and so I wanted to do a review on it. Now, this one I only picked up here whew, in the last two or three weeks, um, but I have had a chance to use it. I went hunting the other day and um, didn't catch much, but I got a couple of uh, jackrabbits that were both uh, around 15 pounds. And uh, so I had a chance to use this to uh, get them cleaned up and uh, skinned and gutted and all that good stuff. And um, I, was, I was pretty damn happy with it, I got to say. So let's just go ahead and go over what we've got here on the knife. Um, first off is the sheath. It's just kind of a... a you know, nylon sheath, nothing too special there, but it is nice. It's got some ribbing in here that kind of give it some uh, rigidity, so it's not a very flimsy one. It's got a lot of padding in there. Um, kind of just talk about the knife here in a minute. Um, we've got uh, some nice, uh, the, the interior here is made of a nice hard plastic, so it, it's, it's good and stiff, and of course it's hard to see in there, but you've actually got a funnel, a plastic funnel, that's the exact shape of this end of the knife, so that it always goes right in there, it doesn't get hung up on the side or anything like that, which, again, it's just a cheap nylon sheath, but the little details that they did to it to make it a little bit nicer than your average cheap nylon sheath, I think uh, kind of uh, speaks volumes to uh, Buck. Um, so here's the knife itself. Um, it's a fairly small blade. I mean, if you look here, it's not that big. It's only got a three and a quarter inch blade on there. Um, but uh, for what I bought it for, which is to do detail work, you know, when you know whether it's for uh, skinning deer or whatever, jackrabbit or anything, um, I, I don't want a huge blade. If I was looking for a survival knife, that'd be different. I'd want a much larger blade, maybe some serrations, that kind of thing. But um, for what I wanted this knife for, it works perfectly. You got a lot of control here. I like the curved handle. I prefer that. I know some people don't, but I feel personally it gives me better control when I'm trying to really get in there and do some detail work. Um, it's got some nice serrations on the back for your thumb, and the serrations even follow up on the back of the uh, handle here. It's got a nice rubberized textured grip. You've got uh, some nice uh, grippy features there, a nice undercut for your finger. Um, it is very, very easy to get a grip on this and control this knife even when your hands are covered in blood. Um, another cool thing about it that I absolutely love, it's completely full tang. So the steel goes all the way back to here and you can in fact see it sticking out of the lanyard hole there. Um, and of course, this is, let me see if we can get it there, Buck USA. This is a made in the USA Buck knife, which actually about 80% of Buck's knives are made in the USA. Um, I don't know why they don't just all make them here uh, because, I mean, honestly, the price difference is nothing, really. I mean, if you shop around online, look at the difference between, uh, you know, one of these versus one of the Chinese hunting knives uh, that Buck imports, uh, there's no difference. So I don't know why anybody buys the Chinese ones anyway. Um, so anyway, good knife, U.S. made, um, extremely sharp. It came in razor sharp and uh, even though I haven't done a whole lot with it, just a couple jackrabbits, still extremely sharp. Razor sharp. And uh, in fact, I'm not even going to sharpen it. I'm about to go deer hunting probably in the morning. I'm going to take this with me. Don't even feel the need to sharpen it. Um, it's, it's, it's in really good shape. Now the only downside to this I would say is uh, I can see under certain situations where uh, depending on what you're trying to do, um, what you're trying to get at when you're uh, skinning and gutting something, um, you might want a little bit narrower tip here to get into some places. Um, this is a fairly wide uh, tip there on the end of the blade, but I didn't have any problems with it. So uh, maybe that's an issue for some people. I don't know. And of course it doesn't have a, a gut hook on it. Um, some people might not like that either, but all in all, really good knife. I'm really happy with it. Now I paid, uh, let's see, 28 bucks for it on Amazon, which I thought was an awesome price. Uh, I wanted the one with the camo handle. Uh, but they didn't have it except for $45 um, because it's kind of a special edition. So I just got the one in black, which is fine. Uh, you don't have to have camo everything. Um, but all in all, really, really happy with the knife. I love the knife. Something I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a good hunting knife. Even if you're not looking for a good hunting knife, you just want something that you can wear around and you're like me and you prefer fixed blade knives to uh, folders. This is a small enough knife, okay? The blade is small enough. It's legal to carry in most places. Um, so keep that in mind. This would make an excellent just kind of an EDC knife if you prefer uh, fixed blade knives. So that is something to keep in mind, guys. But um, anyway, yeah, 
The Buck 390, highly recommend it, uh, whether you're looking for hunting or EDC or whatever, it's a great knife. So anyway, that's it guys, appreciate you watching. We will talk to you later.